Hey guys, what's going on? It's TurboCat, and today I decided to make another tutorial video on how to download TF2 HUDs. It's very easy, you just go to one site and click download. It's very simple, so explanatory. In the background gameplay, you may see me using one of my custom HUDs I have on right now. It's actually a HUD. It's a very simple HUD, and I'll be showing how to download that HUD today. First, you want to go to your, your web browser. Once you go to your web browser, type in huds.tf. And then once you're here, as you can tell, it's a, a very nice site. It's very appealing to the eye. As you can tell, it's uh, very nice. So you want to go to the HUD directory. And I'll just put a uh, link in the description so you guys don't have to do much work. So let's see. So as you can tell, there's a bunch of HUDs you're able to uh, choose from. So in my, my recommendations, just, just look for one with a very good rating, you know, and not something with a bad rating. I mean, unless you like it, then, then download it. But then again, the ones that have a good rating is usually the better ones. So once you find it, so once, once you find a HUD, you want to click on it. So in this, I'll use Raise HUD since it's uh, I, I used it before in the past and it works. I know that. And as you can tell, it's, it, here's like here's what the HUD and what's going, what it's going to look like. And you can tell it's a nice HUD. So I'll use it in this example, in this, in this demonstration. So when you scroll down, you see HUD features. Now make sure it works for your operating system. So for Mac people, it would not work. So don't even bother this one. But if you're on Windows, and I, I recommend going here. So then also check for resolutions, make sure that works on all of them. And it's probably one of the most important, uh, ch check for game modes, because in game modes make sure it supports all of them, which in this case it does. Because sometimes some game modes don't work and, and then people are like, well it didn't work. Well did you, did you check that it, it, it supports all game modes? Because sometimes it won't work like King of the Hill or Manpower and then it's like when you go in that game mode it just doesn't work and then you're confused like I thought I got it but it's not working. So make sure it supports in all game modes, and then miscellaneous I recommend for like scoreboards or HUDs, you know, just just a simple thing. And then once you find the HUD, once you find the one that you like, just just click download right here. And also then I'll start the download. Now make sure you have WinRAR or something like that, just something where we're able to extract the files on your desktop. So what you want to do is just pull this and minimize it, extract it onto your, uh, I mean just. It's not extracted, just drag it on your, on your uh, desktop. And then you're able to close out your browser if you want to. I usually do because it's just very nice. So then you want to click right click, click extract here. And not extract files because sometimes people will do that and then get like a bunch of files. Just click extract here and then it'll extract all the files into one file itself. So it's just much easier than having to click extract all the files and then going through and find the right one. Just click extract here so it gets all of them in one folder. And then once you do that, you're able just to drag this into your recycling bin, and then boom, you have, you have the uh, HUD you like. So what you want to do now is go into your file explorer. So once you're here, uh, you want to go to local disk, go to program files x86, scroll down until you find Steam, then you want to go to Steam apps, and then common. And then once you're here, you'll see all the games you have. So then find Team Fortress 2. Then you double click that. And then here you want to go to TF. And then you want to go to Custom. And then once you're in Custom, as you can tell, I already have, I already have the HUD in there. But I'll just get rid of it to show you that it does work. And then all you, you got to do is just drag it inside of the Custom. And then boom, you're good. Now what I did was I pinned my Custom. So I don't have to go through the whole process each time. So like... If you want to like mess around with some of the HUDs, but you don't want, but you don't want to keep doing that process, I, I recommend just just pinning the uh, the folder. So like, if I'm on like desktop on accident and I cl cl clicked out, I just go to my pin folders and click custom, and boom, I'm already there. It's much faster. So once you do that, you can load in the TF2, and then your HUD should be there. So well, as you can tell, it obviously worked. It's uh, a very nice HUD, and as you can tell, it redesigns even your uh, your start menu. So, so that's a plus too. So yeah. Thanks for watching, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this. Also leave a comment down below on what you think I should do next in TF2 or, like just, or just another tutorial in random like for Sony Vegas, CSGO, you name it and I'll look it up and make a tutorial for you guys that's short and easy. Thanks for watching.